video I posted it on Facebook. Check it out for a sec. Uh, how do I do this? I made roughly three grand today. In front of students, how'd you guys do today? Yeah, great. I missed execution. Don't swear on video. <laughs> People are watching. Kids are watching. How'd you guys do? How much you make today? Three grand. You made three grand today too? Uh, we'll get back. Give him a round of applause. He's freaking amazing. <laughs> and you were in the stock that I bought before me. How did you do it? How did you spot it? OTC with that big break on Wait, let me zoom in. Hold on. All right. What is it? All right, so this is Michael uh, Huddy. It is just awesome. Uh, I think he took some time off, uh, but now, you know, when it's clicking, it's it's really clicking. You know, he nailed the dip buy on KSHB. I dip bought KSHB too. Um, I just did not hold that much, and I was like second guessing myself. Uh, he actually told me he's like Sykes, you should be more patient. I'm not a patient person. Um, you guys can be more patient. You can be better than I can, and that's cool. Uh, POTN, he nailed. The dip uh, at 30 cents a share. Uh, hold on, let me get you a chart of POTN because this is the probably the best trade of the week. This was uh, POTN's breakout. You can clearly see the multi-week breakout going back uh, several weeks to the beginning of 2018. The high here was 29. It broke 29, went to 31, and then held 29 all day. I bought it at 30. Uh, after this, you know, chart was taken. Uh, thank you, George, for saving this chart. You can see. He, I labeled it POTN. Sykes told me to save it. That's that's what he labeled it. And you should save charts like this. You should take screenshots of absolutely perfect breakouts. POTN had a perfect breakout. You had an opportunity. Actually, the the morning spike turned out to be uh, not much. You had an opportunity to buy the afternoon breakout at 30, like I did. Uh, it went up to like I think 33. Came back down to 30, and then it went up to 37. And the next day it went to 40. So a nice little 30% plus gainer. Um, but you had multiple opportunities to either buy the breakout or buy the dip when the breakout was confirmed, when it held 29 in the afternoon here, and then the next day it held 30. So Huddy nailed it um, both times. You know, he actually held it all day, which, you know, he's very patient. Tim Grittani's very patient. Steven Ducks, they're all very patient. Um, that's, their, that's their strategy, and that's cool. That works for them. POTN, I did not have a position all day on Thursday. I was watching it out of the corner of my eye. Um, I was actually doing, you know, one-on-one -on -one interviews with some students, and I had one guy, and I was like, I'm sorry, I got to stop this. POTN is, is breaking because I saw that it held 29 all day, and in the afternoon, it upticked a little to 30, and that's when you have to just put everything else aside, when you see those kinds of key breakouts or breakdowns if you're shorting. So Huddy held it all day, and he was rewarded. I simply waited for, uh, you know, a, a little better catalyst where, you know, there was a clear breakout because I know that I'm impatient. You have to know your faults. It's not about being perfect all the time. It's okay if you're impatient. It's okay if you're patient. You just have to, you know, utilize what you've got and recognize what you've got and recognize what you don't have. If I was in POTN all day, I guarantee you that I would have been faked out at some point and either made a half a penny or lost a half a penny, but I would be out of the trade because it just wasn't doing anything. And Huddy has the patience. He was fine. I think he actually sold half his position, um, and then I think he, he rebought. And then the next day, POTN, when it opened at 37 or 38, it got back down to 30. And he rebought the dip, and he sold it a little too soon in around 34, and it went all the way back to 40. So amazing, amazing breakout over two days. Um, but I'm just so proud of Huddy and, and everybody else. You know, like obviously Michael Huddy uh, made five grand in two days. That's pretty sweet. Um, but every student who was there, whether they were trading, paper trading, or learning, practice makes perfect over time. Uh, I have this one doctor who's, uh, you know, not really even a, a real doctor. You know, he's a, a chiropractor, and I give him shit for that. It's actually kind of funny. Um, but, you know, he is so dedicated. He's been moving around uh, his work schedule in order to trade. And before he was trading with real money, now he realizes, hey, I got to practice. And he is perfectly willing to paper trade and learn the process. And before, you know, when he first started, he wanted to make all this money right away. And he was telling the group, he was like, look, you know, I took several years, like nearly a decade to learn all my skills as a chiropractor. And then even as he was a licensed chiropractor, it still took him several years to master that. 
And I'm not saying this is going to take you a decade to learn this. You know, this is not, there's no doctorate in trading, but it will take you a few years to get used to it. So it's important to have the right perspective. Huddy, you know, this is year three for him and he is nailing it. He is getting it before his winning percentage. I don't know, might have been 30, 40%. Now it's 50%, but it keeps rising. Um, and his profits keep rising. And I love the fact Huddy's trades here is not the profits. The profits are nice. Um, but the fact that all of these trades, look at this. I mean, this is, this is a beautiful grid of profitable trades. The best part of this is that all of his trades now, he is formulating a plan, he's putting it in his watch list, and he's sticking to that plan. And whether the trade goes well or doesn't, whether you sell too early or you don't, you're practicing good habits. That is what gets you good over the long run. That is what turns you into a millionaire in the long run. A lot of my top students are having record profits these past few weeks and past few months, even if they've had, you know, downside. Like, uh, what was that guy's name? Papa John. Is that his username? Papa John just keeps going, by the way. I, I meant to do a, a longer follow-up on him. Um, freaking awesome. And look at this. He was, uh, where is it? He was down 16 grand and now he's up 10 grand. And it's like, how do you change this? I mean, there was no signs whatsoever that he was on the right track here, but he was learning and he was practicing and he was cutting his losses. And then the beautiful thing is that it all comes back very quickly. You will be surprised at how quickly things come together if you trust me, if you focus on the process. And I know, trust me, I know it's not fun to lose. I know it's not fun to put in all this time and effort and have your friends and family say, it's not worth it. This is a scam. I've heard all the negativity, but if you just trust me and if you wait for these kinds of perfect plays, it doesn't matter if you're sick. It doesn't matter if you're healthy. Look, there's another Papa John's ad. I love that Papa John's is advertising uh, on, on John Papa's page. But if you are prepared mentally and if you are prepared with experience, you will be shocked at how much you can make. And it's not just about winning percentage. Papa John, his winning percentage is still 44%. But if you look at some of his trades, his winners are bigger than his losers. Look at this. He lost 500 here. Made triple that. Made quadruple that. Lost 400 here. Lost 900 here. Lost 800 here. Lost 800 here. Made 1500. Made 740. Made 1030, 40. So his gains are bigger than his losses. I know some students where they lose 80 to 90% of the time, but they're losing 20 bucks here, 50 bucks here, 30 bucks here, 50 bucks here. And then they win once out of, let's say, 10 times, and they win 1500 or $2,000 because they practice cutting their losses and letting their winners run. So it's not just about winning percentage. You need to think about how can you grow your account exponentially? How can you get your profit chart like this? And that's what I want. Um, I also got to give props to Ed Bogey. He's a third year man too. Uh, what is it? Is it E Bogey? I mean, he didn't have losses, but he didn't have that many gains and he stuck with it. And now his profit chart is going supernova. Um, you will be amazed at what you can do once you get comfortable. And you cannot get comfortable in the beginning because this shit is weird. We're trading weird stocks. The rules are weird. They're very counterintuitive. But the more that you practice, year two, year three, year four, year five, it becomes a lot easier. And right now we are in a hot market. So a lot of you guys think that you need all these amazing plays to grow your account. You need experience. You need practice to grow your accounts. And the good plays that are happening, it's a good thing that they're there, but not in the way that you think, not just to enrich you right away. The money that you make in month one, month three, month six, month year one of your journey is irrelevant. But when every good play happens, you have the opportunity to practice. And that is what you should be looking forward to. And I know this sounds weird. I know you're just like, oh, just focus on the money. But trust me, if you focus on the habits and the process first, the big money comes later. It's amazing. And I'm seeing it more and more with more and more students, students who don't know each other. They're trading totally different uh, strategies, different patterns. They have different personalities, but they're all having the exact same success after several years. So 
Again, sorry for my voice. I'm not feeling that well. I'm going to go take a nap, but I'm so proud of so many of you. Um, I love teaching.